Let's give it up for Mr. Gary Jones. All right. Yay. Thank you guys. It's great to be here with all of you. I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, it is, it's great to be here with all of you guys here tonight. Thank you, Lynn, of course, for the invitation. Thank you, Christine, for the um, great introduction. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure. I've, I've um, been about 30 years in the industry and, um, and you know, it's seen the changes that, that brands have made as it relates to new and current industry trends. And that's one reason I was so excited when the founder of Trora contacted me and, and asked me to, to join the ranks there and, and, you know, really bring this whole new concept of microbiome friendly skincare. Uh, to the market and be a leading contributor in the industry as it relates to the science and technology surrounding the whole concept of the microbiome. Mm -hmm. Now, the term microbiome may be a new term to you, um, or you may relate it directly to gut health, you know, and knowing how we, we take probiotics to help balance the good versus the bad bacteria um, in our digestive system. Um, and of course, we know that, you know, because of different foods that we eat or medicines we take, sometimes that balance of the good versus bad bacteria gets off kilter and causes a variety of Are you health, on? I'm live. A variety of health, um, negative health effects. So um, what I want to do is talk to you about a different microbiome, which is actually the skin microbiome. Um, which I think is something that's really fascinated scientists and formulators over the last couple of years as we've seen the, the, um, the potential for a new kind of cosmetic. So our skin's microbiome, just like our gut microbiome, is made up of an ecosystem. And Natalie, if you can switch to that next slide, that'd be great. Um, it's made up of an ecosystem that's comprised of water, electrolytes, fatty acid, minerals, sebums, but also microorganisms. So those would be bacteria, viruses, fung fungi, um, yeast, those sorts of things. And while that may sound terrible to have viruses and bacteria and fungi and yeast on your skin, in reality, that's what teaches our immune system what is good and what's bad. Um, so really maintaining that balance of the good versus bad bacteria, just as we do in our gut, is extremely important for maintaining homeostasis or balance in our skin. Um, in fact, um, you know, when that gets out of balance and when those, mi those bad microbes kind of overcompensate for the good microbes, all sorts of terrible things can start to happen to our skin. Um, now, the skin microbiome is the billions of microbes that make up the skin microbiota. And the human skin has about a billion microbes of bacteria per square centimeter. And that natural bacteria is what helps the skin immunity and what prevents um, pathogenic growths like um, topical dermatitis, eczema, acne, psoriasis. You know, in a perfect world, were we not to be exposed to the outside elements or a poor diet or medications or even the cosmetics we use, which contain so many ingredients that aren't healthy for our skin's microbiome, that's when we start to see the result um, of our skin care, uh, of our skin and know that everything is not in balance as it should be. Um, an interesting fact, next slide please, is only 43% of our bodies are human cells. The other 57% is bacteria. So in reality, we are far more bug than we are human. Um, and so understanding that, you know, there, and, and we are on the forefront of this movement. You know, we're one of the brands that, because we were established with this philosophy, we were able to run with it versus so many brands who are established who now have to really, you know, kind of go back and reformulate and recompensate um, with this new information in mind. So, you know, when the, when the healthy composition of the microorganisms and bacteria on the skin is disturbed, the skin becomes vulnerable to an overgrowth of pathogenic bacteria or bad bacteria. Um, it, it increases inflammation, which we know is one of the key con contributors to aging and an altered skin pH. And so that, those are all things that we want to avoid, particularly if we, we find ourselves prone to more problematic skin. Um, it's funny because for years and years, you know, I, like I said, I've, I've been in the business for a long time. I've developed over 3,000 products. And, 
And, you know, our philosophy early on when I first started in this industry was get rid of bacteria on the skin. And what we didn't really realize is the, you know, the effects of that and how it really contributes to um, skin abnormalities um, for one, but skin aging for two. And the reason we use skincare is to help to delay, prevent uh, the signs of age or repair the signs of aging. And if we're doing more damage with the ingredients that we're putting on our skin, just as this, just the same with our gut microbiome, if we do more damage with the food and medications and supplements and things that we take, then we're really defeating the purpose of, of doing these healthy things. And so that's really why Truora was, was born. You know, if you think of, like I said, your gut health, um, you know, we know a healthy diet contributes to a healthy digestive system. The same is true for your skin. You want to include a healthy diet of skincare ingredients and products to really ensure that your skin maintains a healthy balance. Next slide, slide please. So our focus is really, uh, you know, it's really very straightforward. First of all, um, we want to create products that are clean and safe. By clean, I mean they're free of any ingredients that are known to have a negative health effect, any ingredients that may have residual contaminants as part of their manufacturing process, or any ingredients that are known to either produce formaldehyde and, and other toxic ingredients when combined with other ingredients or cause an imbalance in, in, in the hormones or disrupt hormone balance. Um, so, and, and oddly enough, so many ingredients that we see in, in many, many, many brands of skincare do many of those things. So we really wanna make sure that our ingredients are completely safe. They have a great track record um, you know, for health. And that's what we refer to as clean and safe. Um, and that in turn will help to support the skin's microbiome and, over, and offer an overall skin wellness. You know, we focus on, um, on safety of our formulas. Every ingredient we have is thoroughly tested. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about our no list or our restricted and prohibited list in just a, a couple of minutes. Um, but also the concentration of ingredients. You know, many, you'll look at the back of an ingredient list sometime on some of your products and you'll see a hundred ingredients. Well, those, have, those are in there at very non-efficacious levels just for label claim. And that's not something we believe in. We believe in using the best ingredients at high enough concentrations to get the desired results. And in doing so, minimize our ingredient list to make sure that everything we use has a purpose and, and functions as it's intended. Um, our ingredients are all naturally derived or skin identical, meaning that they are easily accepted, recognized um, by the skin or produced naturally by the skin. Um, with the um, use of synthetic thickeners, artificial fragrances are ingredients that are linked to any health concerns. Um, and of course, our products are gluten free, which is important for so many people nowadays and never tested on animals. And so that again is something that, you know, we are very passionate about. We really have a, uh, a three-pronged approach to our um, product philosophy. Um, next slide, please. And that is number one, to preserve the health of the microbiome with clean, healthy formulas. I mentioned just a, a few seconds ago about um, what clean and safe means to us. Um, we actually have a very rigid um, no list, meaning the, the ingredients that are either prohibited from use or restricted based on, you know, they may need further testing, they may be restricted by a certain percentage. And that, we, that list of our um, prohibited and restricted ingredients reaches a, a little over 9,000 individual ingredients, which is one of the most rigid um, in the industry. So if you're looking for safe, healthy skincare, then we definitely have, um, you know, we're definitely kind of leading the edge on that. We also want to support the um, balance of the microbiome with prebiotic and probiotic ingredients. Prebiotic ingredients are those really great ingredients that provide a food source for the probiotics or the good bacteria. So by combining those, you're ensuring that you're really increasing the healthy bacteria that resides on the surface of the skin or the skin's microbiome. And the third thing that makes us very unique is we really supplement the skin with very concentrated anti-aging ingredients. You know, if you've, if you've been using natural skincare for a while, um, safe and clean products for a while, 
there used to be um, that you had to make a sacrifice. I, you know, I get safe, clean, and healthy, but I don't get those great anti-aging results. And that's where we really differentiate ourselves. You know, besides the fact that we use clean formulas, we use probiotic and prebiotic ingredients, we also continue to put in those amazing skin identical anti-aging ingredients, which really help to show visible results and delay and prevent the signs of aging. And it's the combination of those three things that make us extremely different and unique in today's marketplace. So that's a brief introduction to Truora, and um, I'm excited you all are here and we're introducing this to you today. And now I'm gonna turn it back over to Lynn. All right. Um, Gary, I just have to, um, as you were talking, I, I was reminiscing, uh, it was three years ago next month when I got that phone call from you and you shared with me this new concept of protecting our microbiome. And I said, what? Micro, what? And when you said, yes, it's a skincare and treatment system that works for all skin types. And that was not what I grew up with. That is not what I learned for 25 or more years. That, and it took me a while to wrap my head around it, but I can tell you, without a doubt, my skin has improved. I have seen so many of my consultants and customers are loving it. And I, I just, I, I'm still, I still can't believe almost that um, the cleanser, tonic, day moisturizer, and night moisturizer work for all skin types, but they do. They do. You know, I, and that's interesting you say that, Lynn, um, because what's interesting about different conditions of skin, for instance, excessively dry skin or excessively oily skin, those are results of poor skincare, actually. You know, I think naturally some of us have more oil, and more dryness in the skin. However, one system can work for everyone as long as the formulas are designed to balance, to balance the skin and normalize the skin. So people who are oily will find that they become less oily and people who are dry find that they become less dry. Because we're nurturing that bacteria, which is the majority of our skin. The skin cells are actually, you know, the minority compared to that. So it's all about protecting and nurturing and feeding our bacteria with good ingredients. So um, I am so grateful for the simplicity. I love the simplicity and the effectiveness of it. So now I get to share with you guys some fun um, fall and winter Pantone colors and what's in for the fall and winter. Um, you know, we all love looking through Pinterest or um, it used to be going and getting magazines and flipping through the magazines and looking at that. They're almost gone, they're dinosaurs. And that, that kind of made me sad because I was looking for a Marie Claire and I went to four places and couldn't find it. Um, but we were able to put down uh, share with you and share some slides with you of what the trends are for fall and winter and even though we may not be able to get out and enjoy ourselves as much as uh, we did this time last year because of our pandemic um you know it's still so important for yourself at home even if you're by yourself or with your family members um or if you're running to the grocery store it's so important to feel good about how you look from here up <laughs> because we have a mask on um, and believe me I still have on lipstick under under my mask um, I always know which mask is on because there is uh, lots of uh, true aura lipstick so um, you know and and still you know dress up you know don't let's not get too lazy with this it's real easy to wear the same thing every single day. So let's kind of take ourselves out of reality right now and take a look at what's in for fall and winter. And um, what you can see there are some of the uh, colors that are in for the fall and winter. And please remember that realtors do this so that you will um, think you have to buy new things because you don't have anything that color or you don't have uh, that style. And so it's all about 
retail. It's all about selling clothing. Um, and you know, that's fine. It, it's, but it's also very, very important to remember, purchase your best colors near your face. This would be the sternum area, uh, right through here. Um, and purchase classic pieces of clothing because they last longer and then bring out your personality with your accessories and your makeup and, um, you know, a belt, lipstick, jewelry, whatever. That is not, it's going to be easier to move out of your wardrobe. So I just wanted to kind of share that before we move on. But as you can see, the colors are all over the board. There are a lot of warm earth tones. Um, we have uh, a lot of uh, orange tiger there. My daughter is on tonight and this is her favorite color. And every time she wears it, she, she, uh, she's like, I know mom, you don't like this color on me, but I like it. And I'm like, so we have fun with that. Um, I do love down here, we have an evening blue or a navy. That is wonderful with all of the cool tones. Um, so let's just kind of take a look at this, see what we can integrate into our wardrobe and have some fun with it. So guess what? Denim is back. Um, aren't you glad you saved your denim jacket? Um, a lot, you know, I have two or three back in the back of my uh, closet and there's a twist on denim, denim. There's patchwork on denim. That's a big, big trend right now. And I believe over here is a uh, yeah, I need to move your beautiful faces. There we go. So high-waisted denim jeans and flared and long. So uh, it's time to buy your first pair, if you haven't purchased it, of high-waisted denim jeans, okay? So denim is timeless. Let's, uh, however, that skirt in the middle, that is absolutely a trend. It's here today and probably gone next year, okay? The denim jacket is here to stay. Uh, these are probably not going to last too long. So buy classic, okay? All right, now let's look at blazers and tweed jackets with jeans. And this really inspired me tonight. Um, I have on a tweed jacket I've had in my closet forever. I put a white t-shirt with it and I have my boyfriend jeans on. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, right here. And they're real holy. Um, holes in them, not holy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is a fabulous look. It is timeless, and I would say this is very, very classic. Um, get a jacket, get an oversized jacket, put a white t-shirt with it, um, wear your favorite jeans, and um, accessorize, accessorize with it. So have a lot of fun with your, your denim, and bring out some blazers and tweed jackets. It gives a really, really polished look. Um, oversized sweaters. I love, love, love this look. Um, especially the look over here on the, uh, my far left, and it should be your, yours too, uh, the, the oversized sweater with the over the knee boot. I just think that looks really cool. Of course, I'm a dramatic romantic though, um, and I need to remember that. Most of y'all are probably natural, um, and a lot of you are probably uh, classic. So dramatics and romantics or feminines uh, are not as much a majority, but I can tell you when you put a dramatic and a uh, uh, feminine or romantic person together, which I tend to go that way, I can look like a poodle with a tutu skirt on. So I have to be really, really careful about not overdoing the ruffles and the uh, dramatic um, all in one outfit. I have to really uh, hold myself back. Um, or Nicole will tell me, mom, no. <laughs> so, um, and then I love that beautiful white oversized chunky sweater. So let's keep going. Oh, these are everywhere. Warm capes, shawls, ponchos. Uh, you will see this, uh, as soon as you go to a retail store, they are there. So I think a cape, a really well-designed cape is also very, very timeless and something you might want to add to your wardrobe. It looks really good with a mask if you have the right color on. <laughs> uh, striped shirts. 
very important to go with the, you know, add a striped shirt. You probably have one in your wardrobe. And it's just a matter of uh, reinventing it. Uh, I love the crisp uh, blue and white uh, button shirt over here. It looks really crisp and fabulous. It could go with jeans, black, uh, a black skirt. It could go with black slacks. I mean, that, that top is timeless. Um, and then over here, we've got this with the bo her boyfriend jeans. It looks awesome. So uh, make sure you have some striped shirts with, uh, in your wardrobe. Boots. Boots are really going to be big. And um, I am so happy autumn and fall is here. I love this time of year. Um, I just love wearing, uh, you know, skinny jeans rolled up with a pair of uh, boots booties on or I have a couple of over the knee boots too and uh, it may not be age appropriate but I don't care I'm going to wear them anyway <laughs> and um, it looks it looks really great it's fabulous so make sure you your boots are in good shape or add, add a pair to your wardrobe and patchwork fabrics ladies and gentlemen um, this is this is really going to be um, it's already in the stores, in fact. Uh, the quilted look, the patchwork, um, it's a very, very retro look, I think. And I think it looks, I, I love the middle jacket, especially. I think it's incredible. Um, I'm not sure what the far right one is, but it looks really soft and comfortable. Oh, it's a cape, okay. And then the one on the far left is an embellished uh, patchwork. And I think that's very dramatic. I would probably wear that with uh, um, something that Nicole will have to help me with, right? <laughs> I wish I could see Nicole's face on, on here, but um, I haven't scrolled to see her yet. So then we have geomet geometrics, checks, and stripe, stripe it, stripes. Um, what I love about the far left is this, um, this model over here, I don't know if she's a model or just, a, you know, someone who got a shot from the street, but she definitely has a um, pear-shaped body. So she's smaller above the waist than she is below. But the way that the uh, geometrics hit her body is absolutely stunning. And it looks fabulous on her. So one of the things that we do, uh, if, if you're interested, is we can help you determine what your body type is and also um, some of us have been certified as glam fix uh, or color consultants, and we can help you determine exactly what colors are best near your face. So, um, in fact, we, there, we, we've got a lot of material on that. So be sure and ask us about that. Uh, so geometric checks and stripes, uh, plaids and argyle, the preppy look is in, and I was at uh, Target over the weekend and I saw a pair of skinny plaid, uh, very dramatic plaid uh, pants. And I thought, wow, it's gonna take a lot of guts for somebody to wear that. But um, I thought with a really right, uh, chunky oversized sweater and cute boots, I thought it would look really, really cute. So maybe add one piece of argyle or a plaid if you don't have it. And if you don't want a major piece, that's okay. You can uh, buy a scarf. You can, um, you know, accessorize with it, you know, other ways. But I would say this is a pretty, pretty timeless look, especially the Argyle sweater on the far left. So I really like that. Mm. Bows, bows, and more bows. I, okay, so because I have a feminine romantic fashion personality, I love this look. I think it just looks so feminine and beautiful and soft and um, I just uh, I just I just want to find out where this dress is in a different color and where the blue blouse is on the far right and then you know you can take any white blouse that you have and add a long um, uh, bow to it you could just uh, get some ribbon and tie it around your neck, uh, be creative, work with what you have, and then add one or two major wardrobe pieces. And remember, if you're going to spend, uh, I would say spend at least two thirds of your wardrobe budget on um, 
really classic pieces. And then one third can go towards your more uh, accessorize, you know, to accessorize uh, earrings, jewelry, um, you know, even adding a bow like that or a ribbon, go to the, go to the uh, fabric store and buy some and just add it to your wardrobe um, and you will be instantly in. So now, oh, and I love this too. So the Victorian look is going to be very important for the fall and the winter and uh, corset tops. So there will be more of an emphasis on the waist. So um, the, uh, the COVID uh, quarantine, you know, it's, it's been easy to put on a few more LBs. So if you want to accent your waist, just remember it's going to be in. So I love the, uh, I love the two ruffled, uh, the middle denim one, I think it's just fabulous. But I'm trying to determine if that's a fad or if it's a classic piece, you know. I know for sure the one on the far right will probably be out of style next um, year. And then the fringe on the far left will be the same. But the one in the middle, maybe it's because I want it so bad, I'm trying to talk myself into uh, thinking it, it'll work just fine. So, um, so feminine, romantic, just right up my alley. A big emphasis on sleeves and um, oversized puff sleeves, uh, just soft and feminine. And I think it's a, it's a beautiful look and it's, it's good to be in touch with our feminine side, right? All right, so embellished fabrics. Here we go. The one in the middle definitely looks like something from, um, oh, oh, who's the designer? It's, it's, uh, it'll come to, to me in a minute. Um, just kind of a boho gypsy look. And I love the slacks on the far left. I think that looks really good. And remember, always when you see things, think, will I be wearing this in one or two years? Is it classic? Is it a smart choice? And should I um, add that to my wardrobe? And, and then go for your accessories and other uh, embellishments. All right, so now it's time to talk about makeup trends. I hope we're doing okay on time. Let me just check. Woo, we're going a little over. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this um, pretty quickly because Gary's going to share um, uh, his favorite product with us at the end. And then we wanna leave time for question and answer. So let me just uh, go through these slides and share a few things with you. Um, softly illuminated complexions are going to be very, very important. Um, you want, uh, all right, I don't know if you can see this, but this is our balancing hydrating mist. I put this on before I apply my foundation. I love the liquid foundation on the top and I use the sponge, but just misting my face several times a day, even after I put my makeup on, it'll get, it just kind of softens the makeup it refreshes me and everyone needs at least one or two of these, one for the house and one for your purse. So um, hydrating mist and this is the absolute best. And I, I'm telling you, I've been doing this for over 30 years. Um, we have the best skincare treatments and foundations I have ever, ever used. And I just, ha we have the man right here who formulated it. And I just, um, I, I can't bow down to you enough, Gary, because everything you have brought out for us is the best. Um, then uh, we have a perfectly contoured. Um, we just came out with the, I, I keep saying this, but it really is. Um, this is our new cover cream, uh, which we comes in three shades. It comes in a medium, light, and dark. So check with your consultant to see which one you need. And I have been, Gary, I've got some tricks I wanna share with you that I've been doing with this. Um, first of all, I wet this tiny little sponge. I grab a little bit and I apply it, of course, under my eyes and everywhere else I need to cover up. But I also put it on my eyelids and I'm also using it as a primer it's working great for me as a primer. So I put a little bit on all over because it just, uh, I don't know, I love, love the way when I apply my makeup, it just grabs onto that beautifully. Uh, so this is, uh, it's got kind of a reflective value to it. I'm not sure if I'm saying the right words, but 
it doesn't crease in my wrinkles and it illuminates my skin. It's on, almost like uh, the light bounces off of my skin so that it doesn't sink in and show my imperfections, if that makes sense. It does to me, I hope it does to you. Does it, to, does it to you? You look great. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. Um, and then we have our, um, I'm digging for a compliment here. Okay, and then we have our uh, bronzer. Uh, the bronzer is a must have. I think I have it on here, but maybe not. But uh, this bronzer is one of our top, top selling products. Uh, what I do with that is uh, this um, on the top right over here when you, oh, you can't see where I'm pointing. But I, I could I'll take a little bit of that and put it all down my um, nose, a little here, 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 and here. And it, uh, again, it's a fabulous contour piece. And then the bronzer for contouring and also uh, to make me look, help, help me look healthier. And then we've got our fabulous blush there. The blush, all of our uh, powder foundations, um, blush, eyeshadows, it'll last you forever because of the pigmentation. Um, so this is what's in for eyes. Uh, exaggerated eye shapes are in. And uh, so we have an example here to sh that we wanted to show. And I loved, uh, I want to show this because pops of unexpected color are going to be um, and they're in now and I wanted to find I'm going to show you at the very end if we have time what I did with this particular eyeshadow collection um, I wet uh, my Let's see where oh, okay, so this is a This is a can you see it? Where are you guys? I need to put my hand behind it This is a, an eyeliner brush and I wet this I dip it into the blue and I don't know if you can tell or not, but I lined my eyes uh, tonight with just the blue and even did a winged look and it works great. Um, the other thing that I've done is I've used our mascara and the uh, mascara product in here. I'll grab some of that and also line my eyes with it. So, you know, we really don't need eyeliners because this lasts longer and it's, it's uh, you know, why? Because this works in so many different wonderful ways. So that eyeshadow collection is called uh, After Midnight, right? Is that right, Gary? After Midnight, okay. Everyone needs it. Um, I put the, the dark blue on and I also uh, tested on the back of my hand. I did the, the blue and then I put some of the uh, white on top and it honestly gave me the same color as the model on the top left kind of a light grayish bluish um, shadow liner. It was really cool to see that, how you can play with the products and do that. Oh, so this is exactly what I was trying to do. Hers looks better than mine, um, but uh, that is what you can do with our eyeshadows. And you can choose any of the colors, the browns, the greens, the purples, uh, pops of color are going to be very, very important. Classic lip colors like ours, Again, Gary, hats off to you, the best lip color I have ever used in my life. Um, it is such a true, authentic color. And um, like I have on Scarlet tonight, I need to add some. It is the most beautiful red I have ever tried in my life. And I'm gonna, I should have my lips memorized because I've had them my entire life, but um, <laughs> they, this is really incredible. Look at this beautiful, beautiful red. Now, the other thing you can do is you can use our, um, uh, our lip balm as a gloss. And the other thing is, you know, that eyeshadow collection that had that shimmer, you can take a little bit of that and add it to your bottom lip and your top lip, and it gives a beautiful glow and a shimmer. So I need to hurry and quit talking. Um, all right, so um, we're gonna go back. Let's say, uh, let's go to pre, what did I do? Um, because uh, we're gonna bring Gary back. Um, I think all of you know, I love all of the products and uh, the company that I was with before, we had 650 SKUs in our line. We have just a over 60, 65, I believe, and just know that they are the best and it takes 
a lot of experimentation and work to get even one product out and uh, with all of the guidelines and everything that we do. So anyway, I'm sorry, I just love our products. I could talk all night about it. <laughs> so Gary. Yeah, so Lynn, I to share with you one of my, one of my favorite products. And, and I, out of all that I've, I've been responsible for over the years, this is one of my very favorite. Um, primarily because it's fantastic for year-round use, summer, winter, regardless of the age. Um, it really offers something for everyone. One reason I love it is because it offers very quick visible results, but it also um, offers very long-term benefits um, you know, when you continue to use the product, which is exactly what everybody is really looking for. Um, it's really designed to have a very specialized biolift complex, meaning it lifts, firms, and tones the skin from the inside out to really help deliver more youthful looking skin. Um, and I'll, I'll move through this very quickly, um, but it's a great product to use AM and PM. Um, it easily fits into your regimen as the first step after your skincare products uh, or as the first step in your treatment product um, to really give you those results, again, like I said, that are very fast acting and long and long lasting. Next slide, please. Just to run through some of the key ingredients in this, um, really the hero, one of, well, there's two hero ingredients, really. Bifida ferment lysate is the probiotic that we use in this um, formula. One of the reasons I love it is because it just obliterates UV damage um, and helps to restore DNA integrity that's been lost due to pollution or UV exposure. So it's an amazing ingredient to help repair the skin. Um, and help re reverse any um, UV or sun-related damage. Um, the next ingredient, which looks impossible to pronounce, um, is actually the BioLifting Complex, which was an award-winning BioLifting Complex um, that we were very proud to, to get the rights to use. Um, the thing I love about it is it lifts, tones, and firms the skin, as I said, from the inside out. Um, visible results you can see within about three days and as long as you use the product you'll continue to see those um, amazing benefits increase. This um, combination of ingredients is really known as a retinal alternative. Retinal is one of the greatest ingredients in skincare however it is one that we prohibit from our formula because it's a known irritant and it causes inflammation in the skin. This offers the similar results Actually, three times greater than the use of retinol with zero irritation, which makes it fantastic, particularly for our um, product positioning. We also incorporate anti-aging peptides, a blend of peptides, which help to um, firm and tighten the skin's matrix and help the skin produce collagen and elastin, something that our skin stops doing after we hit the age of about 30. Uh, and then we have inulin and yogurt powder, which is a prebiotic probiotic combination to really ensure that the skin is you know, getting all the benefits of probiotic, um, of probiotics. So um, again, it's a pretty fantastic um, group of ingredients. And even to continue to the next slide, um, hyaluronic acid, which is known as sodium hyaluronate, panthenol, which is vitamin B5, um, along with propandiol, which is, those are great moisturizing ingredients. Um, they're called humectants um, because they really help to pull moisture into the, into the skin. Then we have squalene, um, hydrolyzed keratin, and jojoba esters. Those are skin identical um, lipids, which help to lock in the moisture, prevent water loss on the skin. Vitamin E, known as tosopherol, it's a great antioxidant. And our, we use a natural um, steam extracted blend of essential oils to provide a really wonderful um, scent to our products without the use of an, of an external synthetic fragrance. Um, which, of course, you know, um, when you see fragrance on a label, that typically is about 100 to 250 individual ingredients. Not all of them are um, actually very good for you. So um, when, we, when we have a scent in our product, it's generally derived from this essential oil blend because we know that they're very safe and effective and, and give the products a really great uh, scent. So um, again, like I said, one, one little dropper of AM and PM is all you need to have really great looking skin and great benefits that last and last. So Gary, I wanted to ask you, um, out of all the products that you have developed, how many have you developed in your career? Over 3,000. Over 3,000. I heard you say recently that this is, this is your favorite. 
it's it's it is one of my one of my top two. One of your top two. All right. What's the other one? Um, it was from a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is better than that one. All this, right. <laughs> this is the best one I've ever done. I but that one I was really proud of as well. So. Yeah, it is incredible, and I, I saw a difference and felt a difference immediately. Um, and it's uh, only $89, and that is at a retail price. So uh, Christine is now going to share with uh, you, our guests who are here, your three ways to become involved with us. So um, Christine Kay is going to share, and um, thank you. Thank you, Christine, for that. And remember, after this, stay for Q&A, and also I'm gonna be showing you some things I'll be doing for the drawing, okay? Well, I am excited. I mean, listening to those ingredients, I mean, the BioLift is like a heaven buffet for the skin. I love it. So I have three options I want to share with you. You know, when you go and you meet with your true hour consultant, whether it's to be a customer or you're a current customer or host an event or share the true aura with others, you, you probably know from yourself or others or your consultant skin that we are results driven. And I think you heard Gary say three days, three days. So I'm really excited about this. So the first way I want to talk about is obviously, for those of you that are already customers, thank you. But we have, of course, retail customers. We are a direct sales company, um, but our customers are retail. We actually have this program for our smart shoppers. And I know there's a few on tonight that are TLC. They choose to be TLC. Let me tell you a little secret. We have free shipping for our TLCs. We have a 15% discount on all of your orders. You tailor your orders. You choose when you wanna have your round come back around again for your personal delivery, your doorstep delivery. And there's no annual fee, unlike some other companies. So the TLC customers are really the smart customers. And I know we have a few on tonight. We thank our TLC customers. Our founder, Rick Heath, has told us that they really are the core of True Aura and we obviously uh, mentor and support you. So there's also hosting an event. So how about you paint your picture? How about you think about, do I want to have just a one-on-one? -on -one? Do I want to get together with some girlfriends? Have you bought a new house recently? Do you want to have a Zoom virtual and let everyone talk about and get together? Have you have a girlfriend that's maybe, girlfriends that are maybe a little down with everything going on? Let's get together. So you have options, um, new babies, all kinds of things going on, you know, new jobs, whatever you want to talk about. So get together with your consultant. As Lynn shared, we have our core skincare, and of course, your consultant can be certified in the Glam Fix, and we can do different types of events. You know, you really paint the picture on your event. You choose where to have it, when to have it, whether it's virtual or in person with safe distancing and social distancing. My favorite is sharing true aura with others. Let me ask you a question. Are you ready to design your life? Are you ready to create your dream? Truly, how many of you listening right now feel like, I've paid my dues, I've done what I've needed to do, I've worked in corporate America, I've been a stay-at-home mom, I'm now graduated from college, I'm getting ready, or I just want to see more girls and be together or have fun. Would you like to walk, off to your, walk up to your significant other, your loved one, and say, I'll take that over? How about you go shop for a new car and say, I'll pay the payment? Perhaps you want to just be able to get together with people and share and help people. That is our true aura opportunity. Did you know for just $14.95 a month, that is it to be a consultant. $14.95 a month opens up our whole, uh, your free website, guess what? You don't carry inventory. We have our customers go to our website or our links for those that have been hostesses and everything's delivered to their home and it's just easy and simple. We're constantly doing more training. We have support. We mentor and we have a whole background of people with many years experience in the beauty and skincare industry. We're really excited about this microbiome skincare. For those of you that are using it tonight, I can sense it, I can feel it, that you want to share questions with Gary. And I know that you're either going to be your TL customer or you already are. You're going to be thinking about when you want to host that event. You know, those TL hostesses get fabulous rewards. Or you can share the opportunity with others, write your own paycheck, write your own calendar, and say, you know what, the world is changing and I'm ready. <laughs> 